Welcome to another episode in how to make Among Us in Unity. I'm Adrian and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing because we do a lot of game dev around here. In this episode we will find out how to make permanent player death because at the moment the player just keeps respawning, report dead bodies and send the report over to the network via RPCs. Let's get right into it. First we will work on the permanent death. The player that gets killed will have a screen showing the new status. What you also need to do is remove the respawn functionality and also disconnect the killed player. This is mostly it. If you run the game now and kill someone, they will experience permanent death. What about the voting now? The voting can be broken in a couple of different functionalities like this. Body discovery, body reporting and the emergency meeting. The emergency meeting has its sub-components as well. In this video we will focus on the body discovery, reporting and sending the reports back with RPCs to start the emergency meeting. Make sure to create the scripts shown on the screen. We will fill them later on, but it's good to have them to not get any errors. First, let's create a report button for the body. I duplicated an existing one since it was easier to do it like that. In the player prefab, we'll create a new game object with the purpose of detecting dead bodies using trigger collisions. In the network script, we will get the report dead body component which we just created from the player and initialize it with the UI control. In UI control script, we need to create a field for the report button. Of course, the button should not be interactable all time, but only when someone discovers a new body. For now, let's use this new variable. This should be later set in other script.
As usual, don't forget to attach the report button to the UI control in the inspector. We also need to initialize the player dead body report with the voting manager. For this, we will need a reference to it in the network script. Let's head over to the player dead body report script. Here we will detect the collision of the player with the dead body in range. For this, you'll make use of three different functions on trigger enter 2D, on trigger exit, and on trigger stay, all of 2D. These functions are provided by the engine and are called when the interaction happens. What we need to do if a collision was found is to check if it's the right object. Then, if the body was already reported, it's no interest for us anymore. But, if it's a fresh one, we need to inform the UI about this to enable the button and the voting manager to keep track of the photon view of the current dead body found. In on exit, we will tell the UI and the voting manager that the body is no longer in range, so we need to make the report that body button inactive. Because in some cases, just using the two functions might still fail, we will use the stay function which gets called if we are already in the range of a dead body. Today we are not gonna deep dive into the voting manager, but in order to get the game work we will implement the minimum functionality required to do that. The minimum functionality consists in a list of the reported dead bodies, a function to query that list, and also don't forget to add the voting manager script to an empty game object called voting manager in the game.
Lastly, we will implement the reporting function that will call the RPC. This function will be triggered by the report button. This will be called on all the clients, including the current one. All the clients will have a list containing which bodies were reported already. Also, don't forget to rig the report button with this functionality that we created just now. To find out how to make the next step, the emergency meeting, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on to not miss it. I'm Adrian and I'm signing out.